Hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to dive into an AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner Exam Practice question and explore the key concepts behind it. This is an important topic to understand for the exam, as it covers the advantages of deploying an application in multiple availability zones. Let's get started. Here is the practice question we'll be discussing. Let's take a moment to read through the question and the options provided. You can pause the video, if necessary. Now, let's go through the correct answers and the explanations. Option A, preventing a single point of failure. This is a correct answer. Deploying EC2 instances in multiple availability zones prevents a single point of failure. Availability zones are designed for physical redundancy and to provide resilience with uninterrupted performance. If one availability zone is affected by an outage, your application can continue running in the other availability zones, ensuring high availability. Option D. Increasing the availability of the application. This is another correct answer. If you host all your instances in a single location that is affected by a failure, none of your instances would be available. By deploying across multiple availability zones, you can increase the overall availability of your application as your instances can continue running even if one availability zone is impacted. The other options are incorrect. For option B, multiple availability zones will not directly reduce the operational costs of your application. The main benefit is the increased availability and resilience of your application. Option C. The best way to serve users with low latency across regions is to launch another EC2 instance in a region that is closer to the user's location, not by deploying in multiple availability zones within a single region. Option E. Deploying instances in multiple availability zones will not change the overall load of your application. The main benefit is the increased availability and resilience not the application's performance or load handling capabilities. To summarize the key concept learned from this practice question, let's look at a diagram on AWS availability zones. Availability zones are physically separate data centers within an AWS region designed to provide high availability and fault tolerance. They are connected to each other through low latency links, allowing you to easily replicate data and distribute applications across multiple availability zones. By deploying your application across multiple availability zones, you can eliminate a single point of failure and increase the overall availability of your application. If one availability zone is affected by an outage, your application can continue running in the other availability zones, ensuring high availability and resilience. This is an important concept to understand for the AWS Certified Cloud Practitioner exam as it demonstrates how you can build highly available and fault-tolerant applications on the AWS cloud. For those who want to dive deeper, I've included a link in the video description to an official AWS white paper on AWS regions and availability zones. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to my channel for more AWS tutorials. Also, let me know in the comments below if you'd like to learn more about AWS certification exams. Thanks for watching.